I'm here in the Mazda CX-5 and I'm going to show you how Skyactiv technology not only helps with fuel efficiency but lessens your carbon footprint as well because one of the key aspects of Skyactiv technology is eye stop. Say you're traveling along and you're stuck in a traffic jam, or you approach an intersection or a set of lights, you simply put your foot on the brake and eye stop automatically kills the engine. Hear that? Nothing. Without touching the steering wheel, or turning your keys or hitting the start stop button, you simply take your foot off the brake, eye stop switches the engine back on, and you're off. Mazda's eye stop uses combustion to restart the engine in roughly half the time of other conventional systems. That's pretty impressive. There's a lot of smarts behind eye stop, and it's all there in your owner's manual, but here's a few things to keep in mind. Eye stop needs a base amount of charge to function, so it becomes operational after the engine's warmed up. Eye stop is ready when this indicator light illuminates green in the dash. The other thing to remember is that eye stop only works when you've applied the brake and you're holding it down. The steering wheel needs to be reasonably straight. If you turn the wheel significantly when pulling up, eye stop won't cut the engine out. Also, if you've got the air conditioning on maximum settings, eye stop won't work. It also won't work if you're on an incline, if you're in reverse if the doors are open or if the driver's seatbelt is unfastened. If you decide at any stage that you want to override the i-stop system, you simply press this button here on the right hand side of the dash and the engine operates as per normal. Again, check the owner's manual for all the details on i-stop functionality.